Hello, hello, sunshine. Happy Friday. So I am over the next couple of weeks going to be taking you kind of behind the scenes as I come back into my business really full time. I have not been 100% full time in my business over the summer just because of moving from Rhode Island to Delaware. And I thought that a really good teaching opportunity would be to actually show you how I am getting back to my own business basics in order to explain some of the business basics, explain some of the different strategies, and really just show a, <coughs> excuse me, a really thorough behind the scenes. Today, I'm going to be doing this while trying to untangle two of my necklaces. So first and foremost, I think it's important, hey Kimber, I think it's important to really understand certain terminology because I think in this online space, especially post-pandemic, while there are so many more entrepreneurs out here, there's really a lack of understanding of business basics. So Today, I literally just want to go over some terminology to help kind of clear up any misunderstandings that are really common with entrepreneurs. So first and foremost, I want to talk about the word strategy and what a strategy is and what a strategy isn't. A lot of times, and I see this from my own clients, I know this from my past, and part of how it is being marketed from other coaches and industry experts or so-called industry experts, if somebody tells you that social media is a strategy, that's a misuse of the word. So social media is a distribution channel or is a platform, right? Instagram is a platform. Facebook is a platform. TikTok is a platform. But that's not actually the strategy. The strategy is not to be on social media. That is a distribution channel. That is a marketing channel that you can be on and that you can utilize. But that in in and of itself is not the strategy. To be a podcast guest or to be a podcast host or to be a guest trainer isn't really the strategy. Again, that's a distribution channel. That's a way of getting your business out there, of sharing your expertise, showcasing what makes you magic, but that's not the strategy, right? So if we look at it kind of high level, we've got different distribution channels or different ways of going out there This list is not exhaustive, but that can look like email, that can look like guesting, whether that's podcast, guest training, etc. That can be podcast hosting, that can be, um, you know, writing a book, freebie swap, social media, like there are so many different marketing channels or channels of distribution. I'm going to start referring to them in my own languaging as distribution channels because I think that that delineates it and makes it even more clear of what it is that we're talking about. So that kind of top level right now is a distribution channel. So let's pick social media for right now, just as a small example. So if we decide from a business perspective that you want to be on social media, that's the distribution channel is social media. And then you go in and you choose the more specific platform. So there are so many out there right now. We're on Instagram. The other two big ones right now are Facebook and TikTok. There's Clubhouse, there's LinkedIn, there's there's so many out there. Again, not going through all of it because I really just want to get back to basics and have a really solid understanding for everyone of what it is we're talking about instead of always using the word strategy or misusing certain terms. So first we pick the distribution channel. In this example, we're going with social media. Then we pick the platform. And the second step in is going to be different for each channel. For instance, like if you're a podcast guest, you don't really pick a platform. You then go to a different step too. But for this example, just follow with me. So in social media as the distribution channel, we're then going to pick a platform. Let's say for whatever reason that aligns with your business, you decide that Instagram is really good. 
Now, you're not going to just willy-nilly go out there and pick a platform, just like you're not willy-nilly going out there and picking a distribution channel. You are choosing one that aligns with your goals and your vision and how you like to communicate what your values are, where your audience is, etc. There are reasons for and against every distribution channel out there, reasons for and against every social media platform out there, etc. Yay, I untangled my necklaces. So let's say you've gone through all of the reasons and you realize that Instagram is the best social media platform for you to be on, so you go ahead and choose it. Instagram is still not the strategy. Excuse me. Still not the strategy. Being on Instagram is still not a strategy. It is a platform within the distribution channel of social media for you to be on. So then you have to actually go in and decide and create and discover and build out the strategy. The strategy can be so many different things. Again, this is not an exhaustive list because it's Very difficult to go through an exhaustive list in an IG Live. It's also really, quite frankly, irresponsible for me to go through that because each person's marketing plan or each person's business foundation is going to look a little bit different. So if I were to come out here and start going through all of the different strategies and all of the platforms, that would be irresponsible from an authentic business coaching perspective because that's not giving the right information. That's overwhelming and flooding with too much information that doesn't actually help you get the job done. The job done right now for this specific Instagram Live is to understand business basics so that there is not a misuse of terms so that there is more clarity in your own mind when you go to build out your business, you resettle foundational pieces, you take a look at it, whatever it is, right? So that that is the whole point of me going live today is to help you gain more clarity on those business foundations. Going back to our example. So first we've got the distribution channel, we chose social media, next we've got the platform, we chose Instagram. Then we can go into building the strategy. Now the strategy here is going to be, again, different for every person, but the strategy is the intentional longer term vision It is not the actions, it's not the steps, it's not the check mark, tick boxes, getting it done to-do list items. The strategy is the longer term vision. It is building out the roadmap to this is where we're going. So if we're here and we say we are gonna start a new Instagram page or we are going to revamp our Instagram page or whatever, that's where we are. For what purpose? To what end? Where are we going, right? The strategy may say, our strategy is to create conversion content, create um, a community, etc. Again, not going super specifics into it. But let's say, for sake of example, we've chosen social media, we've chosen Instagram, and we say that our strategy is to really build up a strong, interactive, engaged community by showing up consistently, by showing up authentically, by showing up in alignment every every time we show up, right? That is a strategy example. That's a really vague, generic strategy example. That is not a great one from a business perspective, but let's just go with it. The strategy, like I said before, is not the culmination of all of the tick box things. So we set the strategy. We set that longer term vision. We set the GPS of where are we going? What are we building out in the future? Then we dig into the action steps, the to do's, the check marks, check boxes. That's when we go in and decide, okay, how do we do that? Do we do that through 
um, reels, lives, stories. How do we nurture? How do we get visible? How do we do all the things? That is it. So again, just really want to reset business basics, not keep going into this this example here. Today, I want to keep it really short and sweet, understanding that when we, and I say we as in the, the coaching industry online right now, overuse the word strategy and I think confuse a lot of newer entrepreneurs and confuse a lot of entrepreneurs who do not have a business background, which is which is the vast majority of people in the online space right now, especially if you're in any kind of like energy worker, healer, like service, you probably don't have a traditional business background. And without those foundational pieces, When somebody starts to tell you, oh, the right strategy is social media, it gets really confusing in our brains when we all start using terms interchangeably that really aren't synonymous with each other. So I'm going to come back every couple of days and do some lives getting back to business basics. Like I said, I am now jumping back full time into my business after taking the about half, if not a little bit more than half of this summer off just to do some personal things. And I think by resetting those business foundational pieces for you through some really short and sweet Instagram lives is a good way to help my community really understand the foundations of business so that we can all build more sustainable, more well-structured businesses moving into the rest of this year. I also want to be showing more of my behind the scenes. So I will be starting a new Instagram live series, which is really just getting back to basics and also coming on more often to share the behind the scenes of what is my distribution channel of choice moving forward? What distribution channels am I focused on? Why? Why are there some that Why are there some that I'm not focused on right now? How am I personally changing up my Instagram presence? Why am I doing that? I think there's a lot that we can learn from each other in really just kind of pulling back the veil and being like, hey guys, this is what I'm doing in my own business right now. And that's the energy and the mindset and the leadership style that I am stepping more and more into as I come back and and pivot some new things in my business. So Again, just to recap, we talked about a couple of key different terms today. First, we've got our distribution channels. Then we've got platforms. Then we've got our strategy. And we're going to have more than one strategy. We'll talk about that in a different video. Then we've got our actions, the steps that we actually take. If you feel more or less confused, then you did when you started this video, please drop a comment below. Let me clarify anything that needs more clarity. Feel free to send me a DM as well. Expect a voice note back. I'm a huge fan of voice notes. Send me a voice note. I love them. And if you got any more questions or a specific topic that you'd like me to go over in this series of getting back to business basics, again, drop it in the comments or shoot me a DM.